Okay, well, good morning and welcome to the Gold Coast. It's an exciting day on the 2020 election campaign. And I'm here with the extremely hardworking, the extremely hardworking Ros Bates, who is not only my shadow health minister and doing a fantastic job calling out uh, Labor's incompetence over the health system here in Queensland, but also an incredibly hardworking member for Mudgery Bar. This is someone who is fighting really hard on behalf of her people on the Gold Coast. She knows that the biggest issue is creating jobs and reducing crime right in her patch. And Ros, well done to you on the job that you've done locally, particularly in and around jobs, crime and hooning, which I know uh, is, a, is a real issue for you. Now, the LNP is the only party with an economic plan to grow the economy and create jobs. As part of the $1 billion congestion-busting South East Queensland Fund, I can announce today that an LNP government will commit $35 million to immediately upgrade this horrendous, dangerous roundabout here at Gooding Drive. Now, Ros will talk a bit further about the effects on her community because of this dangerous Gooding Drive roundabout. But what I'll say is this. This is about creating jobs, about 109 construction jobs in construction alone, getting high vis on the back of our tradies to make sure that Queensland gets working again. Now, as part of the three, uh, part of the one billion dollar South East Queensland congestion busting fund, that will create immediate stimulus into this economy of ours. 3,100 jobs on this project alone. 109 construction workers working on this upgrade. So not only will you be able to get home safer and sooner, but you will be able to have more people into work under an LNP government. So over to you, Ros. Well, this is absolutely fantastic news for the residents of Carrara, Mary Mack and Rabina, who have been stuck in what is known as the worst roundabout on the Gold Coast. 40,000 cars a day use this roundabout and cars are bank banked back all over it. I used to live just round the corner and both of my kids were T-boned going round this corner. So they're the stories that I get every day from locals. I have fought hard for this for many years and in fact recently a postcard campaign showed that 75% of the local residents here wanted this upgrade done now. We need to rip this dangerous roundabout out, put lights on it, make it safer for people, make it quicker for them to get to their jobs every day because that is really important for locals. Thanks Rosie. Okay, and the other thing I'd like to say is this. This upgrade is on top of the LNP's plan to have a second M1, to build a second M1. It is only the LNP that is committing the $755 million to build that second M1. We'll partner with the Federal Morrison government and we'll get it done. Now, Labor have been exposed for their hoax and their phony announcement around their second M1. Now we know the Palaszczuk government have been playing catch up to the LNP the whole way through this election campaign. Well, when Cameron Dick announced that he's ripping off the people of the Gold Coast with his costings around the second M1, the fake and the phony was there for everyone to see. Only $270 million committed by Labor over four years for the second M1. In stark contrast, the LNP over a thousand over a thousand days ago committed to build the second M1 because we know that jobs are important. We know that the M1 is a complete debacle. We need to get those 60,000 cars off that current road and make sure there is an alternative so people get home safer and sooner. But more importantly, again, that people have jobs and that is what this election is about. It is about who will grow this economy, stimulate the economy and create those jobs. And it's obvious, right here on the Gold Coast, the LNP have got your back. How are you going to pay for it? Well, our costings will be released uh, tomorrow. But I'll say that... <coughs> Thank you. That's for you, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> they must have heard the announcement already. That's how excited the people of the Gold Coast will be when they hear this, is, this announcement. Well, 
Well, Charlie, that is why this election is so important. And that is why the people of Queensland deserve to have a majority LNP government. That is what I'm fighting for every minute of this election campaign. I know I've got the people and the policies in place to do just that. Has your message to the cadres that you won't call them in the case? Charlie, I've already ruled out no deals. What I'll say is this. We are working for every single minute of this election campaign and thank you for your time that you've been with me on it. Charlie, I'll say this. We are working extremely hard to make sure that we have this positive plan, which I know I've enunciated every single day of this campaign. It's about projects, stimulus packages, like $300 into everyone's back pocket before Christmas so they can go out and spend that money in their local shops. So we can make sure the jobs of those shopkeepers stay there. That's what this election is about. Who has the best plan to get Queenslanders into work? And I know it's the LNP. Well, quite regularly. Actually, I got a message from her yesterday, which was really lovely. She wished me very well again in the campaign. So it's quite often? Yes. She's gone on today's show this morning saying as a result of those conversations, uh, she's certainly... <laughs> I'm not sure she said that. Certainly uh, under the impression that you would have opened the border months ago well, I have not had those discussions with the Premier, but what I have said is this. Thank you. Another one for Rosie Bates. Uh, what I have said is this, that the borders shouldn't be closed for a day longer than they need to be. Well, that's, that's, that's for Gladys's opinion. And what I have said is that they shouldn't be, shouldn't be closed for a day longer than they need to be. You brought out efficiency dividends in Queensland Health. Public service to be more efficient under your conduct. Sorry, can you start that question? Yes, I have. Thank you. I thought you said the health. opposite. Yep. Do you want the public service to be more efficient under your government and in what ways do you make it more efficient? Well, you know what, Tim? We will make uh, the, the public service more efficient because we'll be a good government and we'll support them in their work. That's why I've announced you know, thousands more doctors, oh, sorry, thousands more health workers, which includes doctors, nurses, paramedics. That's why I've, I've announced thousands more teachers and hundreds more police officers, because we need to support the people on the front line. In Queensland Health right now, there are tens of thousands of people that are languishing on Labor's health wait list. We want to make sure that we're looking after those people. We want to support our nurses and our doctors. And I'll say this to the nurses and doctors of Queensland Health. An LNP government will never ask you to do more than the hard work that you're already doing. These men and women work every hour that God gives them to work hard on behalf of us, to keep us safe, to keep us healthy. And yet the Palaszczuk government seriously think they should work harder? That's an insult to our hard-working doctors and nurses. Yeah, do you it? make any other departments more efficient? Do you have any plans for that? We will have our costings announcements tomorrow, but what I'll say is this. The Labor Party need to explain to the hard-working doctors and nurses of Queensland Health how much more do they expect of them. These are men and women on the front line. I can tell you, when we've got women turning up to regional maternity services like Chinchilla and Theodore, those nurses on that front line, they deserve support and that's what they'll get from an LNP government. Yeah, Hang on. Very. Well, look, I'm very excited about heading to your forum this afternoon. Thank you for asking the question because it gives me another opportunity, another opportunity to talk about the LNP's positive plan to get Queensland working again. This election is a binary choice between the LNP with a strong economic plan to grow the economy and create jobs or Labor's economic failures. That's the choice for Queenslanders.